Alrighty then, welcome back to another video. It's me, James, your BA Sensei. What we're going to be looking at today is Power Query. Power Query and doing partial lookups. So, let's quickly give you the business case um, that we're looking at here. We have some bank statements. We had a bank statement and the bank statement contains description, but the descriptions are very... Um, differ month to month, but there are certain keywords that will help us to identify the category. It could be we got the date and we got the amount. So I want to look up these, I want to kind of like organize them for my GL or for my accounting to say that this specific line, that's entertainment, that's entertainment, this is accommodation, that's cash. But I want to look up this statement for keywords in uh, another lookup table and then return the category. So the problem here is this is not a 100% match. It's kind of like a fuzzy match. How will you do this in Power Query? First of all, let's quickly pull this into Power Query. Step one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you can see the lookup table. Lookup table as lookup keywords in the category. In the bank statement, we've got the statement description, which you want to look up inside of the lookup keywords and bring back the category. How do we do this? We say, nice. Add a column. Add a column, very simple, you're going to say expense category. Okay, we're going to use a table function, an iterator function, table, got select rows. So it's going to basically select each row in this table, yes. And we are going to look it up, if you're familiar with the lookup, VLOOKUP in Excel, we're going to do something similar and we're going to connect to that lookup table there. That's what we want to look up to. And we want to look for text.contains. We're going to see, we want to take the statement where it contains any value from that lookup table. Now we know, but we're looking for the lookup keywords. Words column. Okay, cool. So we can close that bracket twice. And yeah, error. But we expected that error. Basically, it's saying it can't find the lookup keywords because it doesn't have to. It doesn't really understand what that other table is about. It couldn't find that. So how do we fix this? So I'm going to delete that last column and I'm going to open the advanced editor. So we need to go a little bit deeper here. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate that code there for the new column we created. And I'm going to split it there right by the each to give you the, the sense of what we're going to do. So for each table select, that query that we wrote, we're doing a lookup table. We're looking for text that contains. And we're going to do a lookup. And I just want to split out those guys over there. Okay, so each. What does this each mean? This each means we're iterating through each row in this table. But what I'm going to do, this is sugar syntax. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a variable. I'm going to say this is the bank statement row. Cool. Excellent. So now we have each bank statement row. We are looking up. I'm looking for the statement description. So I just want to put that in front of there because that's the context of the statement description. Okay. That's excellent. But now if we say go Nothing really happens, so that's not the thing. So what we're going to do is, we're going to say, excellent, we need to now iterate through each table in the look. We also want to iterate through tables in the lookup table. So what we're going to do is, we're going to create another variable. We're going to say this is the lookup uh, row. Okay, we're going to give it that description. That's also like each. And we're going to say, take the lookup row and put the lookup row right there okay this should actually work so now it gives you the table option and you click on that little guy over there so i want to bring back the category and like magic it brings back the category so let's quickly return that just to show you what magic you can create with this so now you actually have the category now you can do a nice pivot report you can say hey i want to create a pivot table and I want to take my category and I want to take my amounts. And now you have your bank statement ready for your GL summarized by your amount. Just one thing before we go. Just a note on these lookups. They can, depending on the size of your data sets, they can really affect the performance of your um, workbook. So what I suggest you do is use buffer tables. So Buffer table is where you read any table that you look up many times should be read into a buffer. 
So I'm going to call this, um, let's all say lookup buffer. I'm actually going to read this into memory. So I say table dot buffer. Read into that buffer the lookup table. Cool. So then I'm storing that lookup table in memory. Right? And then what I'm going to say is take that lookup buffer and just do that. Now, exactly the same result. Only thing is, it will be much, much faster. So if you run this, there are obviously some things you should look out for. If it's too big, it could create some problems. But I always use a buffer there. Anyway, that's how you would do kind of like a fuzzy partial lookup in Power Query. BS Sensei out.